Further discussion? Representative Balance. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Members, um, I too rise in opposition to this bill. I will say that I have tremendous respect for the sponsor and some of the co-sponsors of this bill. I had the opportunity to work with the sponsor for many months as we worked on a resolution that we believed would achieve true bipartisan support. But there was a major difference of opinion that we just could not get past. The sponsor and the other side of the aisle and the governor's office insisted on including a massive new welfare program. Their plan is to use Medicaid, which was designed to provide medical care to disabled people who are unable to work and are low income, below the poverty level. To use that money designed for those people for able-bodied adults with no kids and no disabilities. The divide between the Republican solution, which we rolled out as the Big Sky Health Plan, and this bill, that is clearly the governor's bill, is whether or not to provide welfare in the form of medical services to roughly 55,000 able-bodied adults with no disabilities and no kids. 55,000 Montanans, 5.5% of our population, working age adults with no disabilities, no children, who would be added to a new medical welfare program. At a time of extreme and growing shortages of medical providers, this bill gives these people, these able-bodied childless adults, it gives them equal access to the scarce medical resources equal access alongside the poorest of the poor and the severely disabled, the people for whom Medicaid was actually designed. This is a tragedy, especially for the disabled poor, but also for the working poor. This bill is facilitating their dependence upon government and reducing their incentive to work and inhibiting their ability to become independent. As you see the vote on this bill, it will be clear that this is not a bipartisan bill. It's the governor's bill with a handful of Republican support. Mr. Chairman. 